Hello and welcome to Thronebreaker. We are trying to drive out the Nilf Guardians from our lands. And that's not an easy job with uh, a couple of peasants. And that's it. Plus Maeve, plus uh, Doctor Who, plus some dude with a, a mighty mustache. Hmm. What's up? Your Majesty, what of Prince Willem? Where is he? Why's he not come to relieve us? I don't even know. I never even met my son. How about that? Imagine how disappointed I am. Okay. Just take the supplies of these peasants. They're not gonna miss it. The house is already burning. Like, why, why would they care about that one or two crate they actually... Bothered to save retinue outside. was riding through a narrow gully when a shrill cry cut the air. And then in order! The gully came alive and soldiers in black armor rushed forth. A cry in turn went up and down Meave's ranks. Ambush! Right. Shortened battle? Or another puzzle? Right. We're trapped. Um, sure. Oh, this is a shortened battle. This is not good. That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Actually, yeah, this is fine. Let's, let's keep it. Defensive formation! The hell is that? Before turn start, if there is a... duty again? Oh, gods. <sighs> if there is a Nilfgaardian interceptor on the battlefield, reset its ambush and spawn a base copy of it. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. New What's orders? Up? No? Near ah. Guardian Interceptor. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. That's the one. Alba! Oh, damage all units on the opposite row. Oh crap, can we kill it? Reset its ambush and spawn a base copy of it? Holy crap, we need to kill that right now. Time I taught you some respect! There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. I just tried to outpower him. Do we have a special? We don't have any special uh, requirements here. This is only just a one round um, fight. Ten turn. Spawn a base cop. That's insane. So play it in the back. Should have listened to me, old lady. Brach! Scheiß! In! Trey! Hmm. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Sure. Off to the front yet again. I mostly care about the ambush cards. Aren't they gonna trigger pretty damn soon? I can't play the pikemen in the back before they trigger. Sure. 
I have that. I'm a war Uh, too much armor. Doesn't matter much. Okay, let's go with that. Oh yeah, that's not enough. Left, right, left, right. After three turns. Quiet, or the commissar will hear. So I'm gonna kill one of them. Laria! It would have been nice to kill them earlier. Or kill the one earlier. That's bad. Ours is not to reason why. I oh, just down turn. Oh, I should have not clicked it. Rah! Shit! In try! I can play a copy of those. Yeah, let's put back cold though. I may not have enough space. Keep calm, Tiberius. One bolt all I need. I don't really have a particular target in mind. Again and again and again. Yeah, definitely boost. Okay, pretty simple. You just get stronger and stronger all the time. My prescription. A bit of blood. These guys are insane. If I could have like 25 of these in my deck. I would. <laughs> Give me a target. I'm just gonna, yeah, destroy that. Got me good. Let's boost. A Merlot, 58 points, and that's a win. I want them taken alive. I need answers. <laughs> I like that he raised his hands. A little bit like it's just like oh fuck. After the skirmish, we got the Queen's good. troops brought several Nilfgaardian prisoners before her. Reynard, who had the best command of their mongrel tongue, interrogated. His first question. How many battalions were marching on Dravagrad? Kes Zagdran Ep Dravagrad Ven. The prisoners whispered feverishly, then one spoke on their behalf. They would answer no questions until the Queen pledged to free them in return. The Lyrian soldiers saw this as arrogance and said as much. Conditions they're giving us now? Sons are whores! I say, we find a tree with a strong bow, several... I can't blame them for wanting freedom. I'm just gonna promise to free them. Ignoring the objections of her retinue, Meave pledged what the soldiers wished. They in turn admitted their commander had pushed forward ahead of the army's core force. He now awaited reinforcements that would let him take Dravagrad. The prisoners claimed these units would march through the village of Turnifen. Mm -hmm. To lay there in ambush. Hold them. They could not join forces, Reynard whispered, leaning in towards the Queen. We would gain the advantage for the decisive battle. Meave had obtained invaluable information, while the prisoners would gain their freedom. Or so it seemed at the time. What are the prisoners executed? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna let them go. 
The Queen listened closely to the prisoners, nodding many times. Then she simply said, Hang them! As they were dragged away, the prisoners shouted, protested, cursed the Queen, to exactly no avail. Neve simply could not risk their betraying her position as easily as they'd betrayed their commanders. Hmm. That day, Meave demonstrated she would show the invaders no mercy. The Lyrians marched off, strengthened in their resolve, prepared to fight to the death. Actually, there is one thing I would perhaps try. Is that instead of killing them, they could join me. You know, that's good. Either you help me defeat Nilfgaard... I, I suppose you wouldn't be on board with that. But, and of course, we would make some kind of a, a pretty good test. Like, obviously, we would have you uh, killing Nilfgaardians uh, sooner than, uh, than later. Just to show, show your loyalty. I wouldn't really exactly call it loyalty, but like uh, um, a healthy... Uh, Maybe some survival instinct, how about that? I don't really want them... want to... Uh, lead them by fear, necessarily. But I suppose that's what I would be doing. Still, we can trust them, I suppose. It's too, too, too big of a risk. And they already tried to kill us. Hopefully my soldiers are not gonna... Run their mouth about me promising to free people that I'm killing them. That's that's the biggest trick. So I suppose the prisoners were pretty dumb. If there was a way to guarantee or just just even improve the odds of you staying alive, uh, I I would have gone for that. Me, son, your Majesty. You saw him walking along the road. He didn't slow, not one bit. Hey, what's up? My lady, I've nay much, but I'll gladly give me last coin for the cause. For vengeance. Sure. Your last coin? Well, that's very appreciated. Problem is, at this point, I don't even know how to spend coin. There's no... There's no good way to spend it on. No no good thing to spend it on. Like currently there's nothing to spend on, really. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Gather volunteers to aid the villagers. Now we not a moment to lose. That, that's pretty good. Okay. A part of the cart. And we're gonna take out these ghosts as well. Uh, this game is definitely fight heavy. Standard battle. This is okay. Or standard battle. It would be nice to have more leader incitements, but I kind of want them for the last round. Well, great. After five turns on turn start, spawn torrential rain on any row, only once per battle. That's kind of lame. Whatever. So let's go with the Lyrian side. Spirits thing. willing and how but these damn boots are killing me. These things are really good. Peasants. I don't know. I don't think it really matters at this point. We do want to play out the Rivian Pikeman, uh, that's for sure. Uh, maybe in the back. Ours is not to reason why. 
So this makes my Arbalest strong right away. Yeah, brain, whatever. Lyrian Arbalest. One bolt all I need. It's eight damage. Oh. Fine, doesn't matter. Interesting. Give up. Pass. I'll take that. We gotta use free cards next turn. Uh, definitely want to use the war wagons. Uh, they suck. Hmm. Nothing else really sucks. Maybe we gotta use a regiment a drummer. Uh, we're not gonna redraw. But we might start with the drummer. Again and again and again. Then play the wagons. The wagons are. Yes, okay. That's only once per game. Give me a target. Fine. Ah! Let's go with that. Oh, still need to play something. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Why not? Cards. Mm, I'm a little bit tempted to a boost by four. I put that an archer. Well, we're not gonna do that. Just let just pass. I'm good with long ground. <laughs> That's hitting game. Well, that was that was pretty good. He's only down two cards. I'm sure he can uh, manage it now. Extremely strong. Wow. I don't need to worry about one thing. How do we use no height cards? Check deck. Oh, it needs to be used very specifically. But yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, let's keep it. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Well, the strategy is just to play the peasants. Start buffing. I Play the archers later. Listen to me, old lady. Perhaps I, I prefer a more diverse strategy. Myself. Whoa! What the hell? All units on this row. Okay. Let's play that. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Time I taught you some respect. This is going to blow up everything.
Left, right, left, right. It doesn't really matter much. We must trust each other. gonna blow up everything I don't know I definitely don't want to hit him Abolista, your command What do I want to replay here? No. Well, we can replay the archer for some value. So let's boost. Put back the arbalist and see what his uh, last card is. It just does nothing. Right. Four cards in my hand. Highest difficulty. It's not like my uh, superior deck building skill because there's no other deck I can build. <laughs> sure. Victory! Malcolm. The roads are perilous. More black clads than mosquitoes out there these days. Getting to Dravagrad is bloody impossible. For now, I've hidden the goodies in a secret box on the side of the inn opposite the temple. We can uh, decide how to move it once uh, this shite storm is calmed a bit. Until then, try not to die. Oh, come on. What is this? Is uh I don't even know. I suppose this is the inn. And it's to the left of the inn that has a river or a road there and some trees. sure where it could be I can scout for 50 oh that's nice but I still have no idea what could that be I guess I'll pay attention as much as I can I don't know. Peasants. Meave and company pass by a village evidently pillaged by the Nilf Guardians. From afar they had heard cries, but as they drew near they recognized them not as cries of grief, but as cursing, cries of anger. Give him a proper walloping, the scoundrel! <laughs> Mercy, good folk! I've done nothing wrong! The villagers stood gathered near the hamlet's center, surrounding an elf bloodied and cowering. Stones in hand, the peasants threatened and cursed him. The queen demanded an explanation. A ruddy-faced blacksmith stepped forth and spit. A Nilf guardian spy the horse and his your majesty. He's the one brought him here to raise the village. He's got a hang. The other villagers agreed with the smith. The elf fell at the queen's feet and groveled. Have mercy, Renner. Save your loyal subject. They lie. They fought me only as I am an elf. Alright, well, you guys have no evidence of anything. 
Whence this the old certainty life? of his guilt? Have you any proof? Asked Neve. Did anyone see him communing with the foe? Did he hold any coin with a foreign stamp? The villagers eyed Meave angrily, their hands clenched into fists. Yet none dared utter a word in protest. Know this. The Blackclads need no reason to pillage our homes. Now stand aside and let this wretch go. The elf tearfully thanked the queen, then begged her not to leave him behind. Instead, he pleaded vehemently to join her retinue. Your most noble grace, please, I beg you. As soon as you're gone, the Dwan will hang me from the nearest tree. I agree with you. Yeah, you're welcome to join. Can you cook or whatever? Can you fight? Hmm, so be it, said the queen after a moment's consideration. Find the quartermaster. He's to put you to work. And now we march. The villagers gazed with hatred as the company left the hamlet. When its thatched roof huts disappeared beyond the next bend, Meave breathed a sigh of relief. Well, they might be right that he's a spy, but they're probably wrong. You've shown yourself to be merciful, milady. I fear the black clouds won't be so inclined. Not in the least. All right, let's see. This map. Yeah, we should head uh, south for now. <clears throat> Your Grace, a merchant has a proposal that may be of interest. In face of war, he decided to close shop and has offered to give us all his remaining goods. In return, he requests a few of your men escort him to the nearest town. That sounds good enough. 250 timber. I can't help but feel that we missed out, missed out on a cart in the previous area. Somewhere. Point of interest. Apparently I missed two. Oh, come on. Do I want to go back? I don't know. There was one card that I was putting together. And now I don't have it. Maybe we missed something. Not that I'm really playing it that way. I tried to be pretty thorough, but... I suppose I need to try harder. Sometimes you just see like, oh, that's actually a fast travel thingy, right? I was thinking, how could I go back without uh, going mental? And apparently there's a way. The next time we find the fast travel thingy, we might go back. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. We find the fast travel thingy and we might go back. We got a plan now. Oh, that's a... Uh, yeah. Sure, sure. Let's, let's do that. So this is kind of like scouting, right? A little bit like scouting. Meave's force made its way to the place the prisoners had indicated, a quaint village named Turnifen. And indeed, Soon, a cloud of dust appeared on the horizon. A large enemy force approached. We await your order, Your Grace. Reynard peered at Meave expectantly. Well, we just gotta kill him. Meave could not let this opportunity pass. The Nilfgaardians marched on, oblivious to the threat. As soon as they found themselves within range, she signaled her arbalists to loose their bolts, then led her cavalry in a charge. At them! Follow me! Capture free Imperial caravans? Oh, special rules. Shorten battle. But with my own deck, right? How do we capture them? Not that. What is this?
That's how we captured them. Um, okay. I don't really care about the Rivian Pikeman here. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. Must be an important lesson in this. But what? This is not bad. Pull them in. Hundred and one hundred. It doesn't matter how much damage I deal to them. Give me a time. I should be able to hook in this one. Hundred and fifty-two, hundred and fifty-four. Pick up the Abolista, your command. other one as well. Yeah, that should be fine for now. Then run through it. Unless he plays way too many guys in the front, I think we're good. Again and again and again. Also, I need to make sure that I'm not playing way too many guys in the front. Else I can't capture. Wait, what? Of course, as you wish, Master. Didn't it say remove self from battlefield? Oh, he can capture it back. Crap. Or, wait, didn't I capture one? Because it disappeared. Right. Uh, I need to play the Rivian Pikeman in the back, I believe. Because we can't play the Regiment Drummer. Keep calm, Tiberius. Yeah, we need that. Uh, Our spirit's willing and how, but we kind of need that. Actually, I don't know. messed up. Can I kill? Well, he's gonna... Oh my god, no. Yes. What is this garbage? 
I just want to build a deck that makes sense. So many spammy guys. Winning is not the problem. I can't put them on my side. Help! I don't have enough space. I have trash cards. Unbelievable. Yes. Can't place this. I will need to destroy it. I can't cap. This is dumb. A grotto doom anime. In, in the old grand, you could have how much? I like a, a like a lot. Splendid. Of units in the board. One last push now. Not a black clad to remain within sight of Dravagrad. Did we lose? We we won. Was that optional to capture them? Well, I guess we Thus won. Thus Neve led her force to victory. Historians would later term this encounter okay. the Battle of Turnifen. Those Nilfgaardians who survived it spoke of a terror on the field. A woman warrior in gilded armor spattered with blood, her blows so powerful as to pierce the heaviest breastplate. The thickest buckler. The Lyrians now set off toward Dravagrad, buoyed by the vision of their foe expecting reinforcements, friendly banners on the horizon, none of which would ever arrive. Nice. Let's take their stuff. Maybe look at the deck we have and try to improve it. Um. I can't improve it because there's nothing to improve it with. Everything is locked. Okay, we can unlock that. I can make myself faster. That's literally the best use of my resources. But everything is unlocked. Better than this. But I don't want that. But I guess we needed the little bit faster movement speed. Oh, deploy destroy the unit to the right and boost self by its power. If it's an artifact, boost self by current power instead. Um, so this is at best a 16, which is just not good. And we don't have artifacts that we place on the board. War Wagon is actually pretty bad. But I suppose it kinda makes sense. Now, this is just lame. I don't know. Wagenberg can be strong, but it's also very, very vulnerable. It's only three points. And we already want to play other cards early. This just sucks. I don't know. We gotta go with this deck. And hopefully... Which basically includes all our cards. And hopefully we're gonna have access to other uh, better cards. Oh, there's a fast travel thingy here. And I did say that if we find the fast travel thingy... Uh, we're gonna go back. What's up, peasant? <clears throat> Your Majesty, the owner of this estate has demanded recompense for wartime damages. He claims you've uh, failed in your royal duty to protect his land from the Nilfgaardian invasion. He is right, the fault is mine alone, he is owed due. You receive what is owed, lashes and place for him and his family in my army? Nah. Nah. I will assess the damage, and you get your compensation, man. 
Also, you should be pretty damn uh, static that uh, your stuff is not burned down. I'm not the one who's burning down stuff, but... Can we fast travel there? Oh, this is how we do it. So I'm gonna fast travel to all the places I ordered left uh, behind. Just to make sure... Like... Stupidly sure that we're not missing anything key. We shouldn't. We shouldn't, but I think I am missing at least one part of a certain card that we don't have. Apparently there's a point of interest here. I don't think I missed anything here. Yeah, we just ignored this guy. We can get good morale for some gold. Or we can just get some gold for some wood. Yeah, whatever. This this just gonna make him go away. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, can we travel on the map without actually being near a fast travel point? Yeah, we can. <clears throat> so, there is a point of interest here. I'm afraid we need the coin somewhere else. Like, this is just not worth it for me. But I guess I'm gonna hire them. Just to make this point again go away. What else we have? I think I've done it all. I'm not sure what I'm missing, where I'm missing it, because I've done it all. The things that I didn't do, actually I didn't want to do. I didn't want to take these trades. Except the one thing that we didn't pick up at the graveyard. I just missed that. I can fast travel over here and maybe do a scout. I don't know. Oh, I... I'm missing something. Okay, let's start with... Uh, the one over here. Well, it looks like we are missing an entire village. Maybe not an entire village, but... A bit of an area. A few houses. Oh, I'm faster now. Is it? I can run faster. How good that is. Uh, fine. Let's fast travel there. Hmm. Yeah, this way. Didn't I check out this way? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, that way. How do we get that way? Huh. Maeve has no idea either. So, that way you can actually go. But from where, we don't really know. Um... This is the place, right? This seems like the place to go through. But... Nope. That's not it. Then it must be here. Yeah, that, that seems like the place. I don't know. We're missing one card. Do we care too much about that? I suppose not. But who knows. Maybe it's a good card. If it's gonna be another... Hey, that's a card for Gwent. I mean... When the multiplayer card game. Then screw you. Wait, what? I can get wood for gold or uh, gold for wood. I'll just get wood for gold, whatever. 
Doesn't matter. Again, we missed it, but did we really miss it? There was nothing. I don't know. Oh, point of interest. Oh, I can't actually go in the monastery? I didn't realize that. How do we do that? Not from the front. Hmm. Are we going inside the monastery? Apparently, yes. But how? Oh, over here. Totally missed it. And there's just some small crap over here. Doesn't matter much. I'm not really looking for a little bit of gold or a little bit of wood. I'm mostly looking for that card piece. And I'm actually pretty close to uh, just saying screw it. To steal from priestesses. Why, you've stolen from the gods, you have. I didn't steal, steal from the gods. From they stole from the gods. Why, you've I kept from it. The... Okay. This is good. Lyrian Horn. This is what I was hoping to complete. Find it in the common tent. I hope it doesn't suck. Okay, let's go... I don't care. Wait, what? There's a... Golden chest over there? What the hell? Seriously? Come on, game. <laughs> sure, let's pick it up. Let me guess. Stoop for Gwent. Oh my god. Great. Can't wait to use that. Fast travel. And, of course, check out the card that we actually got. For this game, which is boost all allies by two and damage enemies by two. Really? Uh, this should be better than a decoy. <coughs> Not that decoy is necessarily bad, it's okay with Count Coldwell. It's not worth it with anything else. But yeah, that's an upgrade. Uh, I guess... That was worth it. At least, well, we already had most of it. I didn't wanna... Just ignore it. Apparently you guys got, like... The black cards wood, may outnumber us, I know, but we're or, the more yeah. cunning! 20, with the witch. 34 wood and uh, some gold here. What is this? That's how you kill black clads with swarms of bolts from the thicket and pitfalls. Oh, you don't say. Remember this, Melfgardens. Remember so. this, Melfgardens. You'll not defeat the gods. They fear not your torches. See you later, woman. Oh, this is where we get good morale, but we don't need it. Yeah, you guys can uh, do it for a little bit of gold. Uh, we don't really need the, the morale here. Should I just go for it anyway? Yeah, my morale is better, but we just wasted it. Oh, Shoop! What's up? A dark shadow suddenly cut across the sky. That's a good picture. The queen instinctively brought her shield up Convinced a Nilfgaardian catapult had lobbed a boulder their way. Yet when the boulder landed in the road ahead, it smashed into splinters and proved an empty barrel. This is what they cast at us. Barrels. Is this some jest? Well, they're not known for their sense of humor, the Nilfgaardians, answered Red. Meave stood in her stirrups, squinted, peered into the distance, and let out a hearty chortle. For the barrel had been loosed by neither catapult nor trebuchet, 
but by a rock troll consumed by fury. At what? A company of Nilfgaardian soldiers had pitched camp by the cave the troll called home. Yeah, we're gonna save the troll. Troll easy. or non-troll, said the queen, drawing her sword. None deserve to die at Nilfgaard's hands. Follow me! Yep. <laughs> Win the battle without letting Shoop die or be captured. <laughs> sure. Let's do it. Let's save Shoop. Short battle. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. That's okay. That's bad. Hmm. I'm not sure what else would I want here. This is all good. Maybe put this guy in the back. Reinhardt is good with uh, the drummers. But we don't really want him. It's bad. I don't know if I want an Arbalist. We do want the Arbalist. The best would be Count Coldwell. But yeah, let's go with this. Larum! A sayer to the Avian! Protect the troll! <laughs> really? I mean, sure, My we're helping him. But... Willing and how, but these dumb books are kidding. What does shop do? Every two turns on its turn start, if the sum of both adjacent units' power is even, damage all units on the opposite row by one, then move to the other row, if odd, damage all units on this row by one, including self, then move to the other row. We don't really care about it. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Life is mine now. So Shoop is gonna help us a little bit, but this seems like an easy fight. I. There we go, Horn. Holy crap! It's gonna be crazy. Uh, let's go with the drummer. An army's a waste of time for one like me. Your grace. Uh... I managed to shut him up. Oh my god, they're killing him. We're gonna uh, save him. Somehow. Oh yeah, it's closing the back. I'm coming, I'm coming. Mm, this is five. Actually, we can do. I'm a lord, sir. Now we gotta boof Shoop. Just to make sure he doesn't die. And on fine! He really wants to kill Shoop. Damn. I don't even care about that. I just want to save Shoop. Laria! Oh crap, what? Wait. Are they all immune? Oh, crap. What? This is so tanky as well. What am I supposed to do with that? Maybe he's gonna go down to... Less than four, then we can use Lyria Merlot to save him. This is bullshit. One boat's all I need. Come on. Wise choice. 
Yeah. So, go to 26. Um, I mean, 25. I kind of miss. Well, never mind that. It's a four and a five at the same time. Then we got a buff shoot. So it doesn't die. I'm not sure if it's relevant. But, uh. Maybe. Ha! This one's got spirit! Oh, shoot die or be captured? Left, right, left, right. That seems pretty strong. No shoot! Catch him! He's worth 20 florins! Oh, lowest enemy. Okay, it's not a problem. Give me a target. Hmm. There's not much we can do here. Oh, we got him back? Okay. Oh, fuck. Got. Used to be, I hunted game. Men bring more coin. Can't take any more. How strong is this gonna be? 161 against 48. Pretty good. Yep. Shoop, you need to join you our team. Good do. Shoop, help. You did, Shoop. You did. Uh, can you just give us uh, some better units? smashed unit? the Nilfgaardian force. The troll, having grown suddenly pensive, gazed and picked at the invaders' corpses. <sighs> Clad in blacks, humans. No good humans. Just so, uh, Sir Troll. The North Guardians are a devious lot. Our land they've attacked most treacherously. Uh, clad in blacks, humans hard. Why no good humans? Big lot armor. Shoe got to. Try morsel of human, you wish? Do you know to whom you speak? This is Her Majesty, your queen. Come on, I like this. Wait, not you shut the fuck up. Greeting, your queen. Shoop is me. <laughs> there, there, Reynard, I believe I can manage this. Say, Shoop, you've quite the stockpile of kegs. Do you engage in custom, perhaps? No. Keg's good for smash smash when Shoop angry gets. Ah, uh, but the uh, costume engaging. That what mean? Hmm, it means, well, to trade one thing for another, at a profit. One thing for other, for, 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 for glitter rocks even. Yes, if you play your cards right, you might just convince someone to pay you in rocks. <laughs> that will be the day. Cards. Cards, kegs, trade, glitter rocks. Oh, soup plan got. Soup gotta go. Come on, Soup, come back. Can I? No, screw this. Screw this storyline, whatever. I want the storyline of Shoop. How does he go about uh, his uh, card trade business? Uh, a four human go, Shoop human give. Your queen aid give, your queen aid get. 
Thanks. I can't wait to have a taste. The troll turned on his heel and ran out of his cave, his destination known only to himself. As she moved to leave, a hunch told Meave the world would yet hear of this troll named Shu. Hmm. Doing the good stuff. What we have here. Um yes, I suppose we need to loot. And I probably should just scout from time to time, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Because it's quite easy to miss stuff. Never seen so many armed men in my life. And each one in black plate. <laughs> I'll just pick it up. Can we talk with these? Heard them Nilf Guardians got hearts of stone. No mercy for us. Ooh. Proper quirks. Look at the palisades. The machines of war. Too many to count. I cannot fathom it. Has Nilfgaard sent all its forces into Lyria? No, Your Grace. But a single army. Gods protect us. Wow. The Queen uttered a juicy curse. Dravagrad stood before them, Nilfgaardians all round it. Three, perhaps four battalions of armored infantry. Arbalists and cavalry behind them. Trebuchet volleys had punched holes in the walls, while battering rams had twisted the main gate open. Put elsewise, the city was mere moments from falling to the foe. Doomed! We stand not a chance! Nilfgaard outnumbers us twofold! More! Then our men must put double the spirit into the fight. Double the heart! Lyria! Emboldened by their valiant queen and commander, the Lyrians charged headlong at Nilfgaard's lines into a hail of bolts and arrow. Oh boy. Optional, eliminate Brinda, commander. Story battle, special rules. Huh. I'm thinking. Attack! Rid this city of all black clad filth! What if we go with load last checkpoint? Okay. <clears throat> I think this is uh, best left for next time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Have a good one.